Is it possible that something in your local health food store may help Alzheimer's disease? In this video, I'm going to show you the research on medium chain triglycerides helping Alzheimer's disease, helping improve memory in people with Alzheimer's disease. It is very interesting and I'm going to show you the research as well as the dosages used in the research to help you or your loved one if you're suffering from this disorder. So before we go any further, let's talk about the big theory behind what, what's going on here. So the idea here is that Alzheimer's disease is related to essentially diabetes in the brain. The idea here is that sometimes our brain cells don't utilize blood sugar as well as they used to. And when that happens, eventually we get insulin resistance in the brain. Insulin resistance is one of the hallmarks of diabetes. And so because of that, some researchers are literally starting to use a new phrase, type 3 diabetes, literally calling Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes to differentiate it from type 1 and type 2. Here is one of those studies where they actually do bring up this term where they literally say Alzheimer's disease may represent a brain specific form of diabetes, type 3 diabetes. So the idea here is if the brain cells don't use blood, utilize blood sugar as well as they should, could we give them an alternative fuel source? like ketones. Ketones are an alternative fuel source. Your brain can use them. And in this video, I'm going to show you the research, how researchers have been raising ketone levels in the body by using medium chain triglycerides, again, available at health food stores right now, and the, re and the results of that research. So let me show you one of these studies. I've got several of them I'm going to bring to your attention here, but here's the first one. So it starts off basically like this, the effects of beta hydroxybutyrate on cognition in memory impaired adults. Let me stop you right here. What the heck is beta hydroxybutyrate? Well, it's a ketone. It is a ketone and scientists will measure beta hydroxybutyrate levels. It's abbreviated BHB and they'll measure the levels of this ketone to see if someone is going into ketosis. Ketosis is an abnormal elevation in ketone levels. Okay, well, despite the title, they're not giving people beta hydroxybutyrate to measure, to raise their ketone levels. Rather, they're giving people medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are a type of fat and they will raise ketone levels in the body. They will raise beta hydroxybutyrate levels. So this study is kind of small. It's 20 people with mild to moderate uh, Alzheimer's disease or cognitive impairment. Again, they're having trouble remembering what they said a few minutes ago and stuff like that. And they give them either a placebo drink or a medium chain triglyceride drink. And this is actually, the drink actually was about uh, 40 milliliters or 1.4 ounces. And they did it on two different days. They would give them a placebo and do before and after memory tests, or they'd give them this uh, drink, this medium chain triglyceride drink and again do before and after memory test to see what happened. Lo and behold, what do they find? Yes, the medium chain triglycerides, they do raise ketone levels. That, that's to be expected. Also, these higher levels of ketones were associated with greater ability to remember paragraphs that they read a few minutes ago. So their memory recall was better after taking the MCTs, the medium chain triglycerides, than when they took the placebo pretty interesting. We've got this other study, which I do want to bring your attention because you're going to see this if you're investigating this for yourself or a loved one. It's the basically the AC1202 study. Uh, AC1202, let's, let's address the elephant in the room. AC1202, medium chain triglycerides. Yeah, that's how scientists talk like that. So if you see AC1202, they're talking about their version of medium chain triglycerides. So here it is, it comes out in 2009, the study of ketogenic agent medium chain triglycerides on mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. So what do they do here? So they've got 152 people, they've, they've got again, mild memory impairment or moderate Alzheimer's disease. This is a three month study where they give them either a placebo or they give them 20 grams, 20 grams, it's about uh, one ounce of this uh, medium chain triglyceride product and they're calling AC1202. What they also do in this study, I wanna bring to your attention is, and this is good if you try this for yourself, they mix the medium chain triglycerides in Ensure. They mix it with Ensure, eight ounces of Ensure, to make it taste better. Again, some of these products may not taste so well, so they mixed it with Ensure 
and they find, lo and behold, the, uh, the MCTs, they do raise beta-hydroxybutyrate ketone levels. That makes sense. And some of the people taking this uh, product actually did better on uh, various memory tests that they gave them. So again, they were significant better in some of these memory tests, and that's actually pretty interesting. Now, this researcher, who's the lead researcher in this study, he followed this up with another study. It came out in 2020, excuse me, 2020. Now they're calling it AC1204. AC1204, remember the original study was AC1202? They're calling it 1204 now. Why? This is said to be a better tasting version of medium chain triglycerides. Remember in the first study, they were mixing it with Ensure to make it taste better. Now they're saying this is a better tasting version. Okay. So I do like this because it is a 26 week long study. It's a half a year long, six months long. And it's a bigger study. Over 400 people are given either a placebo or this better, better tasting version of MCT oil for, again, for six months. They're giving them uh, 40 grams in this study uh, of this better tasting product. And what do they find? Didn't work. This AC1204 version of medium train triglycerides did not improve memory recall, verbal memory, et cetera, in people versus the placebo. Why? So when I read the study, I find out that this newer, better tasting version had fewer medium chain triglycerides than the original version. And that may be why you're seeing no difference here. It would be very interesting if these researchers would redo this with the original AC1202 medium chain triglycerides, just mix it in sure and, you know, and, and, and roll with it and see what happens. That is something that I would like to see because this is a great study. I like the fact that it's six, it's six months long and it's got over 400 people. Let's redo this and see if you get a different result. But that's not the only study that I got for you here. Here we've got this investigation. Uh, again, medium chain triglycerides improving. They're saying right in the title here, it improves cognition uh, in people with Alzheimer's disease. And they actually had a gene for Alzheimer's disease uh, in this investigation. So here they get 53 people. They're given 17.3 grams of medium chain triglycerides. Why they didn't just round it up to 20 grams, I have no idea. Uh, or they give them a placebo. Uh, so they took the medium chain triglycerides for 30 days, or they gave them a placebo for 30 days to see what happens. And good news, the medium chain triglycerides have what they say positive effects on cognitive ability in these people with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. So that's good news. Another investigation comes out, the effects of this medium chain triglyceride ketogenic formula. This is actually a proprietary formula uh, on people with mild to moderate. Uh, so what they've got here is you've got 20 people and they give them either 20 grams of this proprietary formula, which may or may not be available in your country, um, or they give them a placebo. And they they actually break this up into two different days. They've got one, one part of this study which occurred after one day, they give them, they give 20 grams as medium chain triglycerides for one day, or they give them, a, give them it to them daily for three months. So they find that just giving it to them for one day, nah, it didn't do any good. There was no significant differences in any of the memory tests after just taking it for one day. And that kind of makes sense. It would depend on your level of dementia and stuff like that, but I would think it would take longer to see an improvement. And lo and behold, yeah taking this uh, medium chain triglyceride formula for three months, they call it chronic treatment for three months, did lead to positive effects on verbal memory. They remembered what they said after a few minutes later, and they appeared to have, as they say, their processing speed improved. They thunk faster, okay? Their thinking, uh, in thinking speed improved, again, after taking it for long term. So overall, pretty interesting and positive results. Now. Let me give you my thoughts on all this research. Number one, I would do it under a doctor's care because uh, again, it's possible people with Alzheimer's disease may have other coexisting health problems, heart disease, stuff like that. And doctors are gonna do regular blood tests, kidney function tests and stuff like that. I think that's a really, some, really something to do. The other thing to remember is medium chain triglycerides have lots 
of saturated fat. Some of them are like 70% of your daily value for saturated fat. And again, that's another reason I would suggest doing it under a doctor's care. Let's see if it's raising your cholesterol levels, your bad cholesterol levels, and weigh that against the, posit the potential benefits that someone might get from taking these products. Again, I'm going to link to some quality made medium chain triglycerides in the description so you could check them out for yourself and even just go and get them at your local health food store if you like. The other thing to remember is that they did involve people with mild, uh, mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. So far, it does not appear anybody's given medium chain triglycerides to someone with full blown Alzheimer's disease. Would it, would it work the same way in someone who is, who had a lot of Alzheimer's disease versus someone who only had, you know, mild Alzheimer's disease. So results may vary. I'm still looking for the studies where they gave people uh, medium chain triglycerides who had really, again, as I like to say, sometimes full blown Alzheimer's disease, what, what might happen. Uh, when that studies do, when they do come out, I'll do a separate video on to see what happens. But keep it in the back of your mind. Uh, again, results may vary. And again, it may take a few months before you see any, any significant changes in your loved one uh, from taking this, uh, this dietary supplement. So again, go into it with eyes wide open. And then the other thing I would say is, what about healthy people? If you're in college or high school and you're studying for a test, uh, would taking medium chain triglycerides help you remember better? And I don't have any good answers for you. So far, I haven't seen any studies with healthy college students to see if they perform better on tests, for instance. So eh, let's see what happens in the future. But uh, right now, the uh, thrust of the research is on people with mild to moderate levels of Alzheimer's, not necessarily healthy people. So I hope this video has helped you uh, if you have Alzheimer's or your loved ones have had Alzheimer's and if you have tried medium chain triglycerides. I hope you'll leave a comment below. I'm really curious to see if this has worked for you. I know people with Alzheimer's and I, and I know how uh, debilitating and serious this, this disorder can be. So I hope this has helped and until next time, I'm Joe Cannon. Go out, be safe, and where you can, try to make a difference.